This is safe to come out. Has everyone stopped taking shots? Beardos, beardos, boys and ghouls. How are we doing? Now then. <laughs> what a week, eh? And it was only Tuesday when I was like, fuck this. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. I'm not going to be getting into specifics. But there are some rules being brought to the channel. If, for example, you see Jesus in your toast, don't ask me to look at it. Because when I tell you it's pareidolia and it's burnt toast, you're going to get pissed at me. If you say to me at this time code in this person's video, I need you to look at it and they are a reputable ghost hunting channel, I'm not going to look at it. Because for the most part, a reputable ghost hunting paranormal investigating channel is not going to miss shit. Because when they're in the editing, they are looking everywhere. Now last night, perfect example. My mother-in-law doesn't believe in the paranormal, doesn't watch paranormal stuff. Tune into the channel, found my stuff about Really Haunted really funny, and then started to look for more legitimate channels. Found the Ouija Brothers. She absolutely adores the Ouija Brothers. The last night she sends me a time code and you look at this now in all fairness at first glance i was like what is that there's a shadow moving in the background of one of the videos oh so i looked closer i zoomed in it's actually steve's reflection you can even see the ir bar on top of his camera and it looked like a moving shadow because the camera was panning fair enough oh uh, I messaged Steve, the mother-in-law loves you, she wants me to debunk this. Or she asked me to look at this, and I had a look at it, and it's that, and he was like, I missed that. So I can see why people are like, can you check this time code? Can you check the other? But for the most part, we are getting asked, the bunkers get asked to look at things the paranormal channels have ignored. And it's not the paranormal channels being dicks. It is the paranormal channels have spent years doing this and for years they've been asked to look at what is pareidolia their own shadows shadows of railings shadows of cupboards their own reflections etc etc so please don't ask me to look at stuff like that second rule if you ask me to look at something and i am a debunker and i debunk it don't shout at me don't get all pissy at me because I have done exactly what the channel advertises. I investigate and I debunk. Now, everyone will know what I'm on about and I'm not going to mention names, but a viewer hounded me. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I was like, oh, I don't want to because I know what it's going to be. So then I eventually look at it. I eventually say it's all pareidolia, shadows, etc. It led to something else entirely different that I'm still not getting into. I'm not starting a war. And then the comments come flying through again today. You're wrong on this. You're wrong on that. You're wrong on the other. You need to look at this time code. It's like you sent me a time code. No, but just after the time code I sent you. Well, no, you're moving the goalposts now. But if you say to me, can you look at this channel and it's your favorite channel, be aware that if they are faking, I will spot fakery and I will call out fakery. Just because you're a viewer and just because you put money into the channel does not mean my moral boundaries will shift. If somebody asks me to look at something, I don't care who it's about. If it's fake, it's fake. If it's pareidolia, it's pareidolia. If it's genuine evidence and I don't know what the hell it is, it's genuine evidence and I don't know what the hell it is. I think them rules are fair. I'm already having a beer because, wow, this week has taken its toll. To everyone that's reached out via Discord, via email, people that I've made friends with on other social media platforms... I appreciate you all reaching out. I have a much, much thicker skin than you will ever realise. It doesn't really bother me that much. For those of you that have asked me how Mrs. Geek is doing, I appreciate it. She does not have a thick skin. and was quite upset by everything. The fact that so many people have reached out and asked, it means a lot. I really, really do appreciate it. And I really appreciate... That when I said I'm going to carry on with the live stream, even though I was about to knock it on the head because I thought it was just going to be, oh, what about what happened? What about what happened? What about what happened? So I put a post out, right, the live stream's going ahead. I don't want it brought up. And everyone did exactly as I asked. Nobody was a dick. Nobody asked any awkward questions. 
And more importantly, nobody tried to stir the pot. That that just shows how great this community is. Nobody came in there trying to stir the pot. So everyone that reached out to me and Mrs. Geek, we really appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. Now, also this week, a few people have asked me to look at Nick Groff and Zach Baggins. And I'm not going to do it because I've seen a bit and those bits are all I needed to see. I have seen enough of Nick Groff's stuff to assume he's not a legitimate paranormal investigator that I would enjoy. I have always known that Zach Baggins is full of the brown stuff. Now, everyone was like, a, a few people emailed me and I had some Twitter messages, you need to jump on this. And Laney and Ben jumped on it and then Ghost of Britain jumped on it and I was like, I don't need to. Because what Nick Groff did was not blink staring into the camera and said he held me back. I can't say his name, but a channel producer, director, star blocked my every move. Yes, he was this. No, he was that. He didn't even mention his name. So the whole thing was fake paranormal investigator calls out fake paranormal investigator, refuses to use his name, probably for fear of getting sued. But basically everything he said we knew. Ooh, breaking news. Zach Baggins is an asshole. We know. You can watch the program and understand exactly what that man is about. He's a failed pop star running around in black clothing in graveyards. It, uh, I actually watch Ghost Adventures and quite enjoy it because it's car crash TV. I don't think they're legitimate. They are funny. They don't intend to be funny for the most part. I find them funny. Nick's gone off, tried to do his own thing. It's failed multiple times. And if Zach Baggins has indeed blocked him at every turn because he left the show dick move however we all knew we all knew it was going to be a dick move now while we're on the subjects of dick moves really haunted what a, what a tit really haunted has been doing black orbs and possessions and vlad the impaler the devil's on my keyboard the devil's in my computer the devil is knocking my walls the devil the demons they oh my god and then he just randomly this week flip-flops. Actually, it's aliens the entire time. Pick a narrative and stick to it. You were telling so many porky pies, you can't remember what you've done the episode before. So, three days ago, he says, Ooh, actually, it's all aliens. Ten signs you might have been abducted by aliens. Hang on, you did this a couple of months ago. Could it be you're trying to throw us the bunkers off again? Either way, your crazy ramblings are not sending us anywhere. And 20 hours ago, it gets crazy quick in my haunted house. He sat there, there was a couple of knocks, something got thrown over, poltergeist activity, but it's aliens, the day before, or two days before, which leaves me slightly confused. And then he starts picking up SLS stick figures. Once again, Lee, you're editing them wrong. Your stick figure has dots on your joints where it maps you. That is an Xbox... 360 i believe the other figures have no dots that is an xbox series x or an xbox one x sls slightly different programming they can't both be on the same screen at the same time you tit now i know some of you guys are going to be sat here waiting for me to play some footage from waiting for me to play some footage from really haunted but it is just the same cack he is literally just sat there in the same pair of shorts are you guys? Um, it's painful. I'm going to wait until there's a bit more stuff for me to react from because if I cut down anything interesting from his video, we get about three seconds of footage. So then, Laney and Ben did the Zach Baggins has been exposed by Nick Groff and Dakota, whoever the fuck that is. 96,000 views. Maybe I should have covered it, just for the views. But you know what? I've got a soul. And then 21 hours ago, a church bishop wants to exercise our haunted house. What? But this guy in the middle, where is he? There. See him in the middle? This end? This guy in the middle, I think he's on TikTok. And on TikTok, I think he fell for... 
Oh, what's the guy with the mold infestation on his wallpaper? Smug puppy. A medium chimes in. I'm intrigued to see what they've got to say. Let's go. That's the video you left your hand in, I think. Okay, this is an older video, that's fine. This is one seriously strong-ass ghost. It takes an extreme amount of energy for a spirit to move things in the physical world. So the fact that this chair is going across the room is pretty huge. I have heard this a lot. This is a pretty bullshit ghost. It must have taken some good fishing wire to pull that string. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not. A lot of people have said that this is the case. And um, if you look at like places like Ghost of Carmel, Maine. They because he's fucking real. Ooh, Ghost of Carmel, Maine. Mr. Grey debunked this exact clip. Perfect. Yoink. That's all I'm going to see. Go and check out Mr. Grey. You don't typically see the kind of things that us really haunted and stuff like that pick up. Uh, yeah, so maybe we've got a quite a unique situation going on. Let's There's nothing unique about your bullshit. You're just doing what really haunted did a year ago. Yeah, she's not wrong. She's not wrong at all. Um, we don't think it's anything malevo male malevolent. You tit. Malevolent. Man you know the word I'm looking for. Um, now, do you remember a couple of days ago where I was like, he stole my salute? They're using the versus thumbnails, and then they were like, oh, actually, we used them two years ago before you had YouTube. <laughs> and I'm like, maybe they've got a point. Maybe maybe I'm just looking too much into it. How many times do you guys see me trip over my own words, and instead of cutting it out, I'll make it worse for comedy value? And he's just done the exact same thing. Get a clue, little boy. You're not even funny when you do it. Nothing bad's ever happened. Nothing bad probably will ever happen. Well, no, because you're controlling it. Let's carry. She, she, she's good. She's good. She knows her shit. Let's go. <laughs> All right, where's the priest? Oh, there'd be bigger things like cupboard doors and drawers flying open with cut. Can we just talk about how the Travel Channel tried to blur out our watermark on that video? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There. Look, they've literally blurred out the entire video just to get the watermark out. Like, but you keep featuring on there. Bang it on Snaptic, you won't have to worry about it. Travel Channel, that's one for you. Like cupboard doors and drawers flying open with cutlery coming out. Yeah. Or mugs coming out of... Where did he find this video? Because I haven't even seen this episode yet, and it's, it's our feature. Bullshit, has he not watched his own video? His ego is the size of Uranus. Where did he find this? I need to have a little look. Um, that is a lot of activity. That was really loud. Whoa, Lainey! Whoa! You were so pregnant! You can tell in your fat face! Wow! Wait to give your wife a complex! I mean, I'm a horrible person. I see some horrible things about people. That's your wife! Well, not your wife, your fiancé! Would anyone else describe the, uh... Pregnant fiance is fat. Look at your fat face. And you call Cassie Bullfrog a toad. Ugh. I feel like I'm going to wipe my monitor down after you being on, yeah? In the nicest possible way. Oh my. Too late. Too late. Oh my god, I forgot how chunky you got. Like that maternal fat that you clung onto. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> that maternal fat that you clung on to. His next video, he's going to have a split lip and a black eye. You can't talk about your partner. Holy shit. I wouldn't even dare utter the word water attention. I w <sighs> Couldn't you just say you were glowing because she was pregnant? What a piece of shit. And that is the only time I will ever stick up for Lainey. See, that could be poltergeist. Or it could be smart lights controlled with a smartphone. Footage of a tablecloth that's been pulled off the, the car. She's still beautiful, though. Like, let's give her a props. Like, she's still beautiful. Poltergeist. To me walking Ooh. down the stairs on what my phone, thinking nothing of it. 
and having the door slammed shut. I hope he says they fake. Wow, oh, boy, they, they need they need clergy intervention okay. immediately. Wow, that's two people that have suggested that. Ben, last video I did on you, I said about your editing going next level. All of your audio is out of sync. You've clearly rushed this off the basis of your Zach Baggins video doing well, but those people didn't come back. At times. Gosh. Damn, Bishop James Long, if you want to get over to the gaff, you know you know who to call. No. Wait, are you actually going to allow somebody in your gaff? Because you wouldn't let Paul Gui or Gui or Gu whatever, Google, whatever his name is in. In fact, you stated you wouldn't let anyone in your house to investigate because of your privacy. The only reason you're saying that this guy would be welcome in your house to come and investigate and to come and do a clear cleansing is because he's in the United States and he wouldn't be able to get over here. Added to that, he believed Smug Puppy. And lastly, when it comes to this, you're falling down the same rabbit hole Lee did. If you get the clergy come out and cleanse your house and your ghost buggers off for your story, guess what? You ain't got content anymore. I mean, your documentaries are doing quite well. Fair play. I'm shocked. Not Ghostbusters, Blaney and Ben. How dare you mention one of the greatest 80s, not even the greatest, 80s movies of all time. One of the greatest movies of all time in the same breath as Laney and Ben. Huck! No, I don't think it is. I don't get why people are feeling it's fake. So they're having poltergeist activity within the home. Right, so this... I can't watch anymore because all this is is Ben watching TikToks of people people blowing smoke up his ass. I mean, does he show the people that debunk him? Does he show anything negative? I can't be asked to look because the sight of him, the sight of him makes me get um, an innie. It retracts. Guys, that's just been a little update on what's going on in the week. I wanted a more light-hearted, more funny video because, you know, there has been a lot of shouting this week. A lot. Even Mr. Gray's video, one of Mr. Gray's videos this week, he was like, I'm not getting into Beardo's drama. I'm not doing it. I've seen what's happened. I refuse to be involved. So did I. Don't go there. It's horrible. So... To cap off the video, to round up what we've just seen, really haunted, is throwing everything at the wall to see what sticks. Ben is enjoying himself a little bit too much. Uh, people need to stop asking me to look at stuff if they don't want to be disappointed. That's pretty much the week. <laughs> anyway, so all the silliness aside, all the joking aside, all the shouting aside, um, I appreciate everyone that came into the live stream Tuesday. Again, it was a lot of fun. Uh, people keep asking me um, when I go live now, what's the plan? And by the time I read out what everyone is saying, I can't get around to actually debunking or doing anything. So the Tuesday night streams, they're going to be a permanent fixture, 7pm UK time. And it's just going to be the beardo weirdo hangout. We're just going to hang out. We're just going to have a chat. No agendas, no no bullshit, no drama. I've opened up a Discord, some people have joined already. And there's a section in there for your paranormal experiences. Now, if people want to join the Discord and put the uh, paranormal experiences in the Discord, in that page, what I want to do is I want to do a podcast where I'll be reading out these real paranormal viewer stories. And then we can... I'm, I'm hoping I can do with um, either Broken Capital or Purple. And we can sit there and have a discussion about these stories. Because me and Purple have been talking a lot the last week or two. And I didn't realise that Purple is actually a believer in the paranormal. He debunks all the bullshit for the exact same reasons I do. It insults his beliefs. He's just never outright said it that loud. So it has been nice just to do a funny little video. No drama. No shouting. I'm working on Our House is Really Haunted Part 2. I've filmed some bits for it. I've got some editing tricks I need to learn how to do. 
recording fell behind this week with all the carnage. I just, I had two videos that I'd recorded and I've deleted them because I wasn't me in the video. I was far more reserved and um, I believe in the back of my head there was a bit of worry that everything I said could be taken the wrong way and people turn on me. And that's, that's a stupid thing for me to be worried about. I'm at a bunker. Of course people are going to turn on me. Part of the course. Mr. Grey is one of the nicest people out there in the debunking community. Gets hate all the time. I'm an asshole. <laughs> I attract it. I don't know why it took me back. I don't know why all the drama took me by surprise as much as it did, to be honest. But thick skin, no harm done. So let me know what you think in the comments section down below. There will be a link in the description for Discord live stream as usual on a Tuesday, 7 p.m. Just chatting, just chatting with you guys. It's a lot of fun. Um, once I've worked out a way for me to do it with Streamlabs OBS, because I'm quite new to Streamlabs, if I can work out how to bring guests on, if people want to come on with me and I'm not talking about other YouTubers. I mean, you guys, the viewers, if any of you want to come on with me and have a chat, have a discussion, talk to the chat and talk to people, you'll be more than welcome. I've just got to work out how I can do it. Anyway, much love to you all. Beardo, out. <laughs>